All right, guys, welcome to episode 153 of Dope Talk TV. Is your truly low key guy John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And please, if you want to hear the scoop, the real tea, go over to Patreon, man. We over there talking about the real. Yo, all right. I got some crazy stories I got to fucking tell y'all. Yeah, and man. it's pretty embarrassing because I don't even want to talk about it on like a public airspace, <laughs> but I'll let you know. If you part of Patreon, you definitely gonna hear them stories. Um, I really don't want to talk about it because it's super embarrassing. That's I'm gonna just leave it yeah, at that. Yeah, that's where we're gonna leave it. You want to hear about it? Go over to Patreon to support. All right. Yeah. But we're back with another one. It's a beautiful day. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh, I just opened up a little little drink. Yeah, you know I mean, um, a little drink. Round of applause for the day drinkers. You know what I'm saying? Like you got sometimes you gotta get in a little yeah, early. Sometimes you know? sometimes you just gotta get it over with. You just gotta go for it. Yeah, <laughs> just don't be a hoe. All right? Yeah, right. You know nah, what I mean? but like, I'm drinking that little uh, the white girl drink. If you know what I mean. The, little, the little white claws. Yeah, I didn't want to say yeah, the name, man. but oh, <laughs> damn. pay us, bitch. Exactly. <laughs> I was like trying to avoid the it. white girl drink. Yeah, no, nah, them shits is alright. <laughs> yeah, they trash. I fucking yeah, right. I bought a troll pack. You drink yep. too many of them. I feel like you get a headache. <laughs> Nah, I just want to piss all the time. It's just water and like two percent fucking alcohol, bro. It's fucking trash. You have to get, you have to drink like six of them to get drunk. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, but then you just get a headache. You don't even get drunk. Yeah, you just stay fucking hydrated and fucking <laughs> be fucking piece of shit. Yeah, you but yeah, just drink that shit. But now nah, listen, man. Let's get straight into it. All right, we've all seen what's going on. Well, maybe not all, but for those of y'all that maybe don't know. Uh, Antonio Brown, man, you yeah. know, he, he, uh, he pulled a stunt and he threw off his Jersey in the middle of a game, threw it into the crowd. Yeah. And just and said, walked off the team, yeah, walked he's- off on the team, walked off, off the field. All right. And there's two sides to everything. Right. <laughs> but in my opinion, man, have some fucking class, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's a time and a place to do, do something like that. If you want to do that in the locker room, like throw your lock, your shit into the walk, that's in house. That goes on, you know, within the team. Yeah. But don't do that to that organization. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because in my opinion, it's like the only reason they might not be they might not be treating you a certain way. Like everybody yeah. who wants to be talking about this money, this and money that, it's like they might not, you know, like that might not even be the reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they're like looking at you like, yo, man, you're an older receiver. You know what I'm saying? You're an older uh player. Maybe we're starting to look to get younger like that shit happens in sports yeah, the as, thing as is, much as it sucks you're making first of all though like tom brady is like the reason why you're on the team he specifically picked you out and wanted you on the team i'm pretty sure That's he big. put some of his money into it maybe i don't know you know what I mean? We don't know the backstory to it. We don't it, know who the real investors are for real. You know what I mean? So if that's like you and me, you know, you being on, you know, New England fucking uh uh the Patriots and then I'm on the fucking Tampa Tampa Bay. I'm like, "No, nah, I want my dog on over mm-hmm. here, that has yeah. to, there's some money that has to be made to you know people start yeah, oh, yeah people got to get paid. But when you're Tom Brady, it's kind of like easier to make it happen. Exactly, <laughs> you're like, Tom nah, Brady. Nah, I need my guy. I need that guy, and I need a few more guys. If y'all want this championship, I mean, I, I know I got a golden arm, but bitch, I don't, I can't do it myself. Yeah, and then you look at you look at fucking. Uh, I was watching a podcast with AB on it the other day, and he was just like, "Yo, if Tom Brady's my boy, then why did I get this certain amount of money?" Why did I do this? That's but not then, his fault. And then he's just like, yo, uh, Gronkowski is his, his boy, though. Why is he getting paid this? He's like, if Tom Brady's my boy, then why ain't getting paid like that? You know? And I was just you're like, you're not that. Be, well, I mean, I don't know. You're not Tom Brady, bro. No, you're no, Antonio no. Brown. No, no, no. He'll give you credit when credit is due. You're probably the best. He's saying that you Gronkowski know, is his Tom Brady's boy, and he's getting paid a lot more than AB. That's what he's trying to say. He's like, right. yo, like, I'm supposed to be his friend, right? Tom Brady says that I'm his friend too. Then why yeah, why is he why is Gronkowski getting paid this amount of money and I'm not? He might have more championships than you, bro. Maybe he has a cleaner face in the locker room. He doesn't blow up on coaches, or maybe he just no. there's certain, there's a lot of different reasons. I was looking at the comments, people trying to make it black and white again. Of and course, it's just it, like, yeah. bro, this year, bro, let's stop the bullshit. This yeah. year, let's stop that black and white shit. Let's just stop it. Everything is fucking always has to be black and white. Like it's not all, all about race. Like Racism happens, but it's not always that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, nah, bro. In my opinion, bro, Antonio Brown has CTE. Antonio Brown's taken one too many fucking hard hits, bro, for real. Like, he's been hit hard a few times. And that shit fucks with you. 
Yeah, just like that, there's just people being that have been sport. in a car. It's the same thing as being in a car accident. Them guys are running. This guy's running twenty miles an hour. He's running twenty miles an hour, and they're running into each other full speed. Nigga, that's like being in a forty mile an hour, thirty mile an hour car accident. You know what I'm saying? And they're yeah. doing this over and over every play. You know, so it's like. I didn't think about it like that. It's true. Yeah, bro. Like that shit fucks up your brain and it makes you erratic. Maybe he felt he he's felt like that before and didn't act like this on it, though. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's like, it's just how you go about things. Do I think that he could quit a team if he wants to? Absolutely. Like, you're not a slave. Yeah. Like, you don't have to take the money if you don't want to go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? That's your choice. But again, like, have have some class about it, bro. And just. Walk off the field first. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just walk off the field first and go fuck and go quit in the locker room. Yeah, you know like, I mean? like yeah, that was kind of just like it's kind of crazy. You're just trying to trying to spit in the in the face of the organization. Yeah, the coach Honestly. is like he's definitely not on the Bucks. But you're not. Yeah. Like you just like you're not. Yeah. Even if you wanted to be. Yeah. Even if that was a mistake. Now. Yeah. No. Nah. Bro, like you're not a part of this team anymore. Yeah, that's Straight embarrassing. Up. You don't do that. That's unprofessional. That's like Tiger Woods yeah. going and doing that in the middle of the fucking golf field. Think about it. Yeah, like you just don't it's, you don't do that at a place of work. Yeah. And as much as we want to sit here and be like, oh, it's a sport. Yes, it's a sport, but bro, it's a place of work as well. Yeah, that's that's take a care professional of professional place. Like you take care of business and then you go home. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you're making up. money, bro. What type of money? Like if it's about the money, I mean shit. That, that's scary, man. Because like you make a lot of money. He's made a lot of money. You know, there's no way I, I would think that. For over a million dollars That he'd be doing all that That's and crazy And lose more millions Like that makes no sense So you're giving up Multi-millions For one million I think it's it was a lot more enough. I think it was a lot more But still it doesn't matter Like you, people don't get the point It's, it's like bro like enough. That's what court yeah. is for bro yeah. Go get a lawyer Go take care of it in court And if you're right You'll win Yeah You got the money for the lawyers Yeah If you're <laughs> right you're, You'll win And they'll have to pay you Your millions And they'll have to pay you For your lawyers Play chess. You gotta <laughs> play up. chess. Yeah, like go take care of it the right way, bro. But let, let's move on a little bit, man. Let's get a little more lighthearted, bro. What, yeah. what the fuck would be our rap name if we came up with one? <laughs> oh shit, bro. I think it would be like I don't know, man. Fuck. That would be a hard. <laughs> The eggheads? I don't know. Nah, nah. I don't got no fucking eggheads. Shave your head. I bet you do. <laughs> fucking conehead. No, I was kidding. You ever seen that movie? Yeah, that movie's funny. Is, that's a classic. That's a classic. Nah. Yeah, nah. I wouldn't even know where to begin, bro, to start a rap name for us, bro. Like The, the fucking... <laughs> the Spanish fucking goblins. Nah, that shit's trash. <laughs> I wouldn't even click on that shit if I see that in Spotify. <laughs> Whoa, bro, we got songs fucking making it uh, super gremlin and shit, and that, oh, that's what AB posted too. He's like, uh, "I'm a gremlin or some shit like that." I was like, damn, bro, you need to go see the doctor, dog. <laughs> you got hit so many times, bro. Go see the doctor, bro. Damn, bro, I can't imagine. I can't imagine my name. Probably like, man, I don't know the Hoodigans. The, the, the Wiz kids or some shit. I don't nah, fucking know. Bro. The, this is trash. The, put, like, the, the, the Puerto Rican Tainos. <laughs> this nigga gotta fucking go. The, fucking, the Viking Tainos. The Viking Tainos? Uh, That's trash number two. <laughs> right there. Second hefty back right out the door. Yo, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I really wouldn't know. I really nah, I don't know. know where to begin. Y'all go down in the comments. Y'all give us our fucking rap name if y'all gonna give us one. You know what Big I'm saying? Balls. Let us um, know. Wait, Big, what? What? I don't know. I don't know. That was... Nah, but spe speaking about the... <laughs> <laughs> speaking about these rappers and shit, bro, like... You were telling me, bro, like, the lifestyle that they have and... Yeah, you know, yeah, like, man. Let's get into it a little bit, bro. Like, they portray a certain lifestyle in the, the music that we listen to. Like we listen to hip hop, we listen to shit like that, reggaeton and shit like that. And ultimately, bro, they've been lying to us our whole fucking life. They've been telling you to stay single, have sex with as many people as you can, as yeah. many girls as you can, go out, have fun, have five different women for five different days of the week. They tell you all this bullshit. Yeah, I believe And then when it. they get off the stage, <laughs> I believe they it. go to their fucking hotel room with their wife <laughs> <laughs> and their kid. Yeah. And they be having a fucking beautiful family life. It's like Rod Wave. Rod Wave keeps fucking crying <laughs> on these records, right? Got so many he them. keeps crying, but the people closest to him are like, bro, this nigga's happy. Yeah, like he goes home to this girl and his kid, and like he, he's happy. Yeah, but he got paid. He be in the fucking studio crying to you about a bitch that broke his heart. 
Like that 12 years ago That probably never existed Yeah She probably never, was never even real He yeah. probably saw his boy Go through a heartbreak And he's like Damn got your ass I'm gonna write a song About this shit Nah <laughs> For real Bro it's crazy Yeah I believed it I believed that yeah. lifestyle I was like man That shit popping That shit wild Like look at Young Dolph bro You know what I mean And we don't know The backstory of like You know how they want to live And how You know what they like Like maybe their woman Likes other girls You know what I mean And they know what it is Like yeah, that, serious, that's like, real, bro. A lot of couples are like that, where they go out and they get they find a third. Yeah, and like that's, that's cool. That's, y'all live. Hey, listen, matter of fact, round of applause. You know what I'm like, saying to y'all. And then when we get, we go back home, we we mommy and daddy still. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we're husband and wife, like normal parents. Like facts. There's people that live it like that. There's people that do it. You know what I'm saying? If that's how you do it, round of applause. Yeah. You need more power to you. Will and Jada. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. I was just thinking about that shit the other day, and I was like, bro, they really lie to us. <laughs> <laughs> they really got her ass They really got us thinking that like Just being a, a bachelor and just living your life Wild like that is gonna bring you true happiness yeah. And it does for a little bit And then after a while you're just like It's like what? Trash. Wait you don't wanna be a player no more? It's like, I don't wanna <laughs> be a player no more I ain't a player I just beep You know what I mean? Yeah, we can't go all the way in monetization Yeah we bro we on, the, we on the YT yeah, bro, straight up. Nah, yeah, that's why y'all gotta come over to, uh, you know, Patroni. Patroni, <laughs> Patroni, Patroni, huh? The Patronis. Why don't you come over to Patroni? Huh? It's five dollars a month, and you get a pepperoni in a your pepper- face. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Pepperoni, right in the middle of your mouth. Uh huh. You want to see my pepperoni? <laughs> pay five dollars a month. <laughs> that is. You want to see the fucking Puerto Rican egg roll, huh? And that's you fucking go over there. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind making a porn. I'm telling you. Hey, bro, listen, man. Look, I'm, matter of fact, I'm going to give a round of applause to everybody that's out there living their best life, making that motherfucking porn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Putting it on OnlyFans, finessing the fuck out of niggas. I ain't going to lie. They be Pay finessing. Pay $20 for a foot pick, bitch. I paid, I paid one time, and I ain't going to lie. Uh, my dog I got. Yeah, I got got. Yeah. I paid. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was, was just like. Was girl you knew or just a random girl? It was a random girl, just to see. Girl. And I was yeah. just like, man, what's the difference between porn and this? Porn is free and it's better. <laughs> so you know what I did? I unsubscribed. I still had the rest of the fucking month free, so I kept watching for a month. Let me see them titties and are free. You know what I mean? And then after that, they hit me with the yo, you're unsubscribed. You got to pay another fucking yeah, you fifteen dollars. Sixteen dollars. I didn't pay. It was no like fourteen ninety nine dollars. You already showed me everything I wanted to see. Yeah, I'm out. I could have screenshot it. I could have saved the video. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah, I could have got her ass, and then I would have doubled the price on it. Damn. <laughs> My but dog, anyways, he could have been shicey season over Yeah, here. bro, but straight up. But nah, nah I'll bro, make I'll make a porn, bro. I would make a porn, bro. I would just have to like yeah, listen, at this point in my life it's about business. Yeah. If the business ain't right, I can't do it. But I'll make a porn. Listen, put this, it on OnlyFans and run that shit up. This is pretty much you know a mean? porn studio. Oh no, we can listen, <laughs> we can turn this table sideways, bro, put a little twin size on it. We yeah. can- <laughs> This is, this is, this is this bullet, the table is one twin, one twin. That's Forget the need. other one. That's all we need. Uh, the one lights twin. and the fucking one twin. Fucking. And we got Johnny Cash and Bob looking at us right hey, now. Bob over there singing to the bitch. Nah, you know bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. But nah, I don't know. Something about bald guys being on porns. They're very successful at it. <laughs> I just want to let you know right now. There's been a few bald headed niggas few. that was fucking legends. There's bro. a lot. Like, There's them niggas be out there. You know what I'm saying? Slinging that shmeat. Some guy told me he's like, "Yo, you look like the Brazzers fucking uh, the guy, the bald one, the one that's famous on Brazzers. He's oh, bald. Yeah, I was no. just like, man, y'all got my dog. First of all, that yeah. nigga's like seven foot tall. Yeah, he's huge. I think he's a big guy. Bro. Yeah, he is. Like, He's like tall, so he's. I think he's taller than me. And I'm and I'm pretty big. I'm like normal size. I'm like I'm like five ten, five eleven. I'm like five eleven. Yeah, I'm I'm six five, bro. And I think he's still like a little bit taller than me. People, I think he's, he's a big guy. Yo, at my party, people didn't believe how big this motherfucker was. I was like, Yo, Kane, this this guy's big. He's like three times the size of me. He's like, for real? He, at the end of the party, he's like, Yo, I didn't think Hector was that big, bro. <laughs> I was like, Yeah, bro, he's fucking huge, bro. Yeah, bro, I'm six five, man. Six five. Thank God I stopped growing. Imagine yeah. if I had that disease where I kept growing forever. I have to drive you around because every fucking car was <laughs> too too small, bro. He hops in my car, bro. I have and to fucking be in the back in the trailer like a horse and shit. Yeah, <laughs> fuck, you fucking ogre. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nah, but there's some there's some women out on this porn scene like they shouldn't be doing it. Like, bro, yeah, there's some trash ass porn stars. <laughs> if we're gonna be real, where it's like. Like, bro, the guy only fucked you because it was free pussy. 
<laughs> That's true. Bro, he'll never have you back in his set again. They talk about Mia Khalifa how she like got like manipulated into making porn. For First like, of all, you, how do you get manipulated? That's what into I said. Taking dick for a living. Well, the thing is, it didn't always start out like that. She started right. actually just taking you know photos I'm sure. I'm and sure. photography. I think it was feet pics and shit right. like that. Right. OnlyFans shit. I'm sure. Next thing you now, know, listen, man. I say it all the time. OnlyFans and uh and the strip club or the kindergarten of hoeing. Yeah, I remember it's the kindergarten <laughs> of hoeing. Y'all might as well just start selling pussy. I, I remember. Put a menu out. You remember? Low job, $100. <laughs> you want you, the twat five. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you remember you, you remember when we went to Miami, bro, and I, and I got that lap dance from that Russian on my birthday? She tried to fucking ch- tax my ass, too. Yeah, she, no, she finessed you, but she yeah. was bad. Yeah, so. she was. She came up to me, and she was like, ah. Mother Russia. Like, mother. <laughs> Are you with your mother? I was literally with my mom, too. It was crazy. My mom was... You know what I mean? It was crazy, bro. But Madarasha. And she came up to me. She's like, it's your birthday? And I was just like, yeah. She's like, come with me. Come with me. I'm going to fucking. In my ear. And I was just like, okay. And I fucking, I was like, yo, I'll see y'all boys later. I fucking left, bro. I got that lap dance for like one song. She bro, charged, was, she this charged me. was like, back in a minute and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was quick. <laughs> Next thing you know, bro, she takes off her top and shit, and she's like, she tried charge, like charging me extra, just for taking off her top. And I was just like, what the I tried fuck leaving, type of strip club and she is was this? like, and she was like, oh no, no, it's a hundred dollars. I was like, listen, it's my birthday. A hundred dollars for taking off your top? Yeah, and then she was just like, Jesus, she's like, it's a hundred a song. I was just like. God, I said it's my birthday. What the fuck? And then she, and she's just like, oh yeah, yeah, it's your birthday. No, no, have, happy birthday. Gave me a hug and let me go. If I would have said no, the bouncer was right there and he'd probably take me to right. the back room. Oh, no, they would have molly whopped you the fuck out of there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Molly whopped you straight back to your fucking Uber. And this was, a, <laughs> this, this is, uh, this was at Live. This was at Live in Miami. This was like 24 hour club. Yeah, nah, I was there with them guys, yeah. by the way. It was, it was a straight location. It was a straight club. The strippers was pretty bad. They was walking around literally just grabbing niggas by the arm, just like, yeah, like, hey, come here. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I wasn't with that shit. Nah. I don't, I don't know, bro. Any type of money that I got is like not like that. I'm not spending money on you like that, bitch. Yeah, not nah, like nah. I thought, I mean, I didn't really pay because I reminded <laughs> it's her. Yeah. That, it was your birthday, and you're trying to have a good time. Fuck it, let me see some titties. Let yeah, me, let me fucking suck on a nipple or something. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Like, yeah, whatever. I also sucked on her nipple. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was awesome. before pre COVID, guys. Yeah, it was pre COVID. <laughs> <laughs> this is pre COVID. This is literally like months right before it happened. It was like five, six months before that shit really hit. Yeah, bro. That was a long time. That was like three years ago. That was three years ago, bro. Yeah, that shit was a minute ago, for sure. You know how I told you fucking, uh, <coughs> fucking, what would you do if you were on the run and shit? You asked me. <laughs> yo, guys, listen, this guy told me, what a straight face. He's like, yo, I'll just swim to Cuba. Yeah, I'll swim. So, I'll swim. He said, the I'll co- swim to Cuba, bro. Like, it's only eighty miles. Like if I was on the run, like I'm taking a boat somewhere. Like I got a couple of friends with boats, and I'm no, taking. No, no, but you didn't say take a boat. <laughs> yeah, you but then you said Coast Guard would get you, and I was like, you know, what? I'll just swim. Yeah, and <laughs> I, there's people and professional swimmers, and I'm I'm pretty like a good swimmer, bro. John, I think I could do you're it. Like, it's like saying I think I could do what LeBron James does. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you're saying right now. Do you? Uh, I think I could go play for Cleveland and bring him the fucking next ring. You have to keep your body relaxed, and John, you got to keep going. You're not <laughs> swimming <laughs> eighty miles straight. Eighty miles? Can you run eighty miles, bitch? I we're running and swimming. Yeah, swimming is a little bit harder. I think, right? I think they're both fucked. But <laughs> eighty miles is eighty miles, bro. Yeah. And in the ocean, it's probably gonna be like a hundred and twenty because the current's gonna take you this way, then it's gonna take you this way. You know, it's not a straight line. Yeah. Got your ass. All right. So <laughs> the thing, you, the bro. thing is, you know, the thing is though, like people would ask, like, man, like their first exit route would go to the airport, and you're fucked. Think about it. I'm not going to the airport. They're waiting for you. Wilder. Yeah, yeah, no. They're waiting for you. Facts. Right there. I'm literally gonna take like hop on a train. Back on the train somewhere. On a train. This guy, you're caught just as fucking quick. Who yeah. the fuck this guy think he is? Nah, fucking. there's different routes. You know, you hop on a, on a train John. in the back. You in keep going. Back. You don't even go on the door. You stay on the back. No, one of those cargo trains, bro. Like where you hide in the hay and shit. Jesus. Yeah. This guy thinks we're in fucking 1979 over <laughs> yeah. here. What the and fuck was the last time you seen a fucking hay train, bitch? Nah, it's been a while, bro. <laughs> But I'm going to tell you what Catch the sun train to fucking Georgia the That's sun what you're going to do Yeah and they're going to catch me in Georgia with the peaches and shit I swear to I God I love Georgia peaches though Yeah nah last time I went to Georgia it was a good time Yeah, It nah. was a good time 
Yeah, last time I passed through Georgia, they got y'all got some good ass fucking food. They got good food. Miami has good food hey, too. Hey, y'all women are fine as fuck. Yeah, I'll let you know that shit right now. Yeah, um, yeah, I went one time. I just didn't get to go to the aquarium. I heard the aquarium was pretty dope, so I always wanted to go there. Yeah, bro, we we should take a fucking trip because that's like the biggest aquarium in like the East Coast or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, it's not too aquarium. far. It was like eight hours. Holy yeah. shit! From where you were at. No, no, no. I mean, like, it's eight hours, like, from eight hours, here. yeah, from here. Oh, yeah, yeah, Central yeah. Florida to, to say, Georgia. Damn, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, shit would have flawed. It sucked. You ever drove, like, hungover? Like, you ever course, drove bro. so, like, hungover that, like, it's like, fuck, like, I shouldn't even be driving. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, you're still damn near drunk. Yeah, but you're, like, you're still, like, able to, like, function. It's just, you have that little bit of, like, a slow motion. Yeah, vibe. everything is foggy. You don't want to hear shit. Yeah, you put your sunglasses on. I hate niggas that come into work yelling. Like, shut the fuck up. Oh, man, like, I hate that shit. And you're just like in the back of the warehouse and niggas, come on. <laughs> like, bro. Nah, you ever thrown up? Like at work? Bitch, plenty of times. Yeah, it's the worst, man. I used to throw up all the time at Just Floors, all the time. And they would know <laughs> that I was hungover. Like they'll be like, you know what? If this guy nah, fucks, this guy, yeah, we used to be like, no more. That every yo, day, Chad, to, Chad would be used to fucking be looking like he was dying, bro. Pale as fuck, bro, coming out the bathroom. My supervisor was like, "Yo, did, man, you told me you weren't gonna drink last night, bro." And he's like, "You said no more." And I was he's just, like, "No, for real, today is no more." <laughs> That's it. Bitch, as soon as we get home, first nigga I run into at the liquor store is this fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll run to the liquor store and just, you know, grab a couple Coronas. And next thing you know, we got people coming over. We still live together, too. <laughs> this was like, we were working normal yeah, jobs. Yeah, was the first time we were roommates, bro. Yeah. That shit. And we worked at the same job. That shit was so trash. Yeah, we always saw. And we didn't even work out. So now we yeah. see each other even more. Like I had yeah. to get another gym membership just to fucking yeah, be Yeah, no, like, get the fuck out of my gym. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fucking see you on a treadmill again. Nah, bro. I, I still be going. I keep I keep nah, two facts. memberships because of um, just to switch it up, bro. You get tired of seeing the yeah. same people, the same fucking fake ass smile when they walk in. Like, hey, yeah, hello, hey, John. Like, no, no, bitch, stop. Don't say my name. Yeah. The fuck are you? Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna lie. I like I like the gym that we at. The other gym, I'm not gonna say no names, you know, pay us. But the other gym, the only difference to me, bro, was the sauna, and it was like, yeah, fuck, man, that's not a, to me. It's like it's just not enough for me to just switch. It. Like I just know. No, it's kind of ass too sometimes because you walk in and, <laughs> and then there's like ten niggas. Yeah, in there. and then we're all talking about some personal shit, and then we're everybody's just like, <laughs> fucking. Drip drop swag sweat over here Fucking some talk guy. about your wife that left you Yeah some guy You don't deserve that You ever had sauna talk bro Like god man We, we spoke about that already yeah, bro But nah, you, you get deep though It's yeah. like being drunk Yeah Yo listen you know niggas is drunk When they start talking about Hey bro not for nothing I love y'all bro Nah for real I That's love me love y'all bro That's me bro I'll be like Hey Hey bro Hey I love you Nah I be like bro Shut that no, shit shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up bro. Drunk ass I used to talk yeah. trash yeah. shit all the time Yeah bro. Like, Hey bro for real though I love you boy Nah bro, man, man. You gotta stop drinking that fucking honey bitch. Yeah That's bro you gotta For do. real <laughs> Nah up. bro I, I be like the guy that's like Man like Switching up alcohols too bro And I'm just like It's all the same shit It'll all fuck you up <laughs> Just some you, taste better, some taste worse. One some thing, does it quicker, some does it slower. One That's thing, it. one thing I gotta mention though, I was at the bar the other day, and some girl, she's like, "Oh yeah, look at my tattoo, like it's cool." I'm wearing my my sweater, so like she couldn't tell if I was like tattered or not. And then my buddy was next to me, and he was just like, "Oh yeah, my my homie sleeved up and shit, whatever." She, you know, he's talking about me, and I'm just like, "Yeah," like, and her shit was kind of trash. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. So like, <laughs> she's like, "Yeah, you know." um, yeah, she started talking about the artist she wants to go see, how, like, it's all detailed and super nice. And then he goes, he, my dog is, like, getting, like, kind of mad. Like, he's like, no, nah, but my dog shit is detailed, nah, too. but that shit trash, though. Yeah, my it, dog shit better. Yeah, yeah, like that. And I was just, like, relax. I was like, oh, I showed her the picture. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's nice, you know. And it's just, like, I noticed that people, bro, when they had trash tattoos, bro, they get offended, like, easily. I mean, like, I'm sorry that you chose to put trash on your body. Yes, that's not my fault, bro. Like, my like, guy didn't do that, so yeah. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Yeah, and I did it one at a time. 
Yeah, like, that shit I didn't, takes time and it's expensive. Bro. And I'm not even done yet. Like people don't understand I how expensive how expensive tattoos really are, bro. Yeah, like it's ridiculous. I could have bought my car. A again. Half a sleeve could cost you a car. Yeah, literally, like a yeah, half a sleeve my Honda will, will yeah. cost you a, a, a like twenty five hundred car. Yeah, yeah. Like, this shit is not cheap, man. It's not cheap. That's why, like, whenever I see people that are tatted up, like tatted up, but it's good quality, I'm like, yo, respect. Yeah, there was a guy on YouTube. I forgot his name, but he was talking about how he spent like overall, bro. He literally spent like thirty thousand dollars on all his tattoos. Yeah, I believe but that. They look like, bro. It's like Roman Empire shit. Like that shit looks sick. I'm like, yeah. yo, respect. That's swag. Yeah, that's swag. Yeah, that's an investment, though. You know what I'm saying? But it's all about how you want to live your life and you know how you want to express yourself. People, that's really all it is. Is how you choose it, to express yourself. It, and that's good. That's a good way of saying that because like I was watching a, a, a little clip on YouTube. Some guy, I guess he was a doctor or like psychologist, whatever. And he goes, "Hey, uh, yeah, people with tattoos. You know, um, you could look at them and tell like it's, it's from trauma." Yeah. Yeah, bro. People say that, like, you know, people with a lot of tattoos, like, he was doing, like, a red flag thing for women, you know? But, like, for women to, to watch out for guys, mm -hmm. you know? And he's like, oh. So like, he pretty much said tattooed guys are pieces of shit. So yeah. Now, nah, fuck that Exactly. Guy. And I kind of disagree with him, but I also I also agree with him with, like, him explaining it, of him being like, yo, it's, like, it's a higher chance. It doesn't make him, like, you know what I mean? Like, a horrible person, but there's a higher chance of them having more trauma and, like, being a little bit more difficult. And I was just like, Wow. I think he's a piece of shit, I, but hey, yeah. fuck that guy. So yeah, <laughs> hey, he's not he's not wrong. We ain't, we are kind of difficult, and we are pieces of shits. Nah, nah. you know, I we know all plenty of guys that are tatted up that are nice fucking guys. Yeah, like me, soft ass niggas. Yeah, like me, <laughs> <laughs> like me, like me. Nah, but listen, guys. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. Go over to Patreon and, you know what I'm saying, support us over there, all right? Yeah, you better fucking support us, because if not, we'll just quit. Yeah, fuck it. You'll never see us again. See ya. Peace and love. Peace and love. Tell somebody you love them. We out.